Welcome back. In this short video, we're going to change the way you build your on-prem data center using the VMware Cloud Builder appliance. The VMware Cloud Builder appliance is a pre-configured virtual machine with all the goodness that's ready to go with just a couple of clicks and then be able to deploy your first management domain. We're talking everything from vSphere, NSX, ESXi, VDS storage, all that stuff done for you. There's no real reason to do any of this stuff manually anymore, especially when you've got something like the Cloud Builder appliance to do it for you automatically, repetitively. So that way there's consistency in every environment that you build with minimal errors or no errors at all, as long as you get it all correct. My original plan was to take you through the prerequisites in a few slides, but I'm gonna to cut to the chase and I'll just link all of that stuff in the description below and take you right into the live environment so we can get started immediately. All right, I'll see you there. Before deploying the Cloud Builder appliance, I thought it was best to show you how to get your hands on the appliance. Now to do that, you just need to log into customerconnect.vmware.com, go to products, all products, then a little bit down the page, you can see a VMware Cloud Foundation, click on download product, and then you can see the version drop down. So pick the version that you want to be deploying in this video. As of this video, we're gonna be deploying version 4.5. So I'll click on go to downloads, and then I'll click on download now. It will ask me to log in, but I'll leave that to you. Now we can move on to the actual deployment. Cloud Builder can be deployed on a laptop running VMware Fusion or Workstation. Could also de be deployed on another ESXi cluster or a vSphere cluster. And in, that's what I'm doing in this case. You just need to make sure that it's got IP or network connectivity from where you're deploying the appliance to the destination cluster that you're trying to deploy. First, I'm going to click on Deploy OVF Template. It's a local file as I've downloaded it. Click on it, let that load up. And hit next. I'm going to call this just CB for Cloud Builder. Select the compute resource. Don't really need to do anything there. And then just hit next. Accept the license agreement. Pick the storage you want to put the appliance into. I'm just going to pick one of my storage LUNs and hit next. Select the network it needs to go onto. So in my case, it'll be going on to the management network. And there's a few details you need to populate here. So I'm not going to enable FIPS mode, but if you need it to be FIPS compliant, you need to check that box. Then there's passwords. You've also got some networking details. So I'm going to fill out all these details and then I'll come back, okay? So I've populated all these details. I'll quickly take you through it. So passwords have been blanked out because they've been filled. Hostname, then IP address. Again, this is something that you need to define in your network. It also needs to have a DNS entry. Subnet mask, default gateway. DNS servers, DNS domain name, search paths, and then the NTP server. Now that that's all complete, I'll hit next, hit finish, and then the deployment begins. So you can see here, away it goes. The Cloud Builder appliance is now deployed and successfully it didn't error out or anything. You can see it highlighted there as it's deployed and powered on. Keep in mind when you do this in your environment, it'll come up as off the first time you have to power it on so i just skip that step because it takes a bit of time to boot and load up let's test it out let's go to the web interface so you can either use dns or you can use its ip address in this case i'll just quickly use the ip address perfect so we can hit something let's try logging in and there you go we're in by now you've seen how easy it is to download and deploy the Cloud Builder appliance. I did have a point of clarification. If you haven't seen it yet, my first video on the whole architecture and foundations of VCF is here, but I did mention something about VVS that I would like to clarify. The VVS offers bite-sized solutions on top of VCF to just increase the benefits of what VCF is rather than what I mentioned in the first video. But again, if you hadn't seen it, please check it out. It is the basis for all of VMware Cloud Foundation. Cool. I'll catch you in the next video.